Here we are making the slider for our gumball machine. Before we get started, you want to consider what edge is the nicest. That is going to be the top edge when we're done. So we want to flip that over and make it at that. The bottom right now, we want to make our marks on the ugly edge because that will be the bottom later on. The first thing we want to do is lay out the holes that we need to drill along with where the notches are for our finger grips. I already have my three and a half inches down from one of my straight edges. I already have that marked for my center hole. Now I'm going to mark down one and three eighths. That's going to be one of my drilled holes for a dowel pin. And then I'll measure down one inch on both edges. Those will be the notches for where our fingers can grip it. Then I'll come down to the other edge and from the bottom edge up, I'll measure three eighths of an inch. Mark that. That is where the other dowel pin is going to go. So again, I already have it at three and a half. So now I'm going to do one and three eighths. And then on the edges, I'm going to do one inch. My project is already cut to nine inches and squared. So now I know I can trust this edge measuring in three eighths of an inch. The next step we need to do is we know the distances from the ends that those holes are, but now we need to find center. Those are three quarters of an inch in from, from either edge, measure in three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to take my ruler, any whole number again, mark three quarters of an inch on those three dots. If your marks do not intersect, you might just have to redraw them or take a square, transfer your lines a little bit. There we have it. We are going to use a one inch Fostner bit. We're going to drill all the way through at that location. Then we're going to find a quarter inch drill bit and we're going to drill halfway through. This is three quarters of an inch thick. So we're going to drill in three eighths of an inch on that location and that location. And then I'm going to show you the trick for making the notches on these two ends. I'll meet you at the drill press. Here I have my project set up on the drill press. I have the one inch Fostner bit ready to go. Um, when we drill this hole, we want to kind of prepare ourselves in case things go wrong. If this part gets caught on the bit and spins like a helicopter blade, we want to hit something and not try to hit us. So if I hold it like this, chances are this big long side will try to spin and hit me. I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna keep that long side to the left. That way if it spins, it's gonna hit something back there that is stationary and not hit me. Our first step is we're gonna pick the point here of the Fostner bit and line it up with the one inch hole we're gonna make. And you can put a little divot into the wood. That'll help the, the drill bit find that hole back when it's powered on. We're gonna keep our fingers two inches away Power on and drill all the way through. Now we're going to set the machine up with our quarter inch drill bit to do the two dowel pinholes. We are going to set our depth so when we drill with this bit, it stops halfway through our project. And that we can just eyeball here. That looks about halfway. So on this other side, we're going to set our stop. You pull off the collar and then spin down the stop nut right there. We take our collar, drop it back over that stop that holds it in place so it doesn't move on us. Now we can drill halfway through. There is a picture of that collar and that stop nut.
line it up. There are our two holes. The next trick I'm going to show you here is to make these two notches. We're going to take whatever scrap piece we have left over from our slider and our bridge. We are going to clamp it like this. And then we are going to take a half inch, because that's a quarter inch radius, we're going to take a half inch diameter Fostner bit and drill right on the seam between the two boards on our mark. And then we're just going to flip flop it clamp it to this side and do the same thing. Here I have a quick clamp holding these two boards together. If you use one of these clamps, they are kind of big and heavy. Make sure that you are holding your project down flat as you are drilling so that the weight of the clamp doesn't hold your project at a funny angle. You might have to reset your depth step stop. When you take your clamp off, you are left with that half moon shape. We're gonna do that same thing to the other side. Clamp them together like that and do the same thing. There we have it. This now is because the dowels holes are on this side, that is their bottom. This will be our top. I'm gonna to wanna to sand this ugly bark edge off, make it nice and pretty. That is our slider.